Welcome to another deep dive experience with the Burns team. I'm Laura Burns, and on behalf of Jason, myself, and the rest of the team at Keller Williams International, welcome to our latest listing here at 1161 East Howard in Pasadena. Now, this is in the historic Highlands neighborhood. Built in 1913, this property is inspired by the arts and crafts era. As you're gonna see, you're gonna see elements of craftsman nature, and then of course, more traditional nature. What I love in the front here is that you have four steps that lead you to this oversized front porch. Beautiful porch area with two access points to come in. You can walk right up from the driveway, which is a deep, long driveway that goes all the way to the rear of the home itself. But look how large this front patio is. And as I talked about the Craftsman influence, you can see that these pillars are tapered at the top. That's part of the Craftsman influence. Now this property, the interior here of the house is just under 2,300 square feet of living space. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. And our client has lived here for over 40 years. I just love this home. Now they've done so much to this house. So as you're coming in, you have a formal entry, an actual location to come on in, maybe have a table here, drop your purse, keys, etc. You can see the oversized front door with the glass in here, which of course here is a more of a traditional craftsman look. And notice all of the elements of the case molding that go all the way through the home. Now in the entrance, you have a, a tray ceiling, one of three tray ceilings that you'll see in the house. Large arch opening here that comes into this oversized living room. As you're making it into this living room, you'll note that our client actually spent a long time remodeling this over time. So they did bit by bit. In this living room, you have additional tray ceiling, a picture rail molding, the oversized original base molding, and then look at this beautiful case molding around all the windows. You can see all these windows have been reworked and all this wood is just really quite beautiful and how it's been maintained and preserved. The hardwood floors are pristine. They're a light blonde stain and um, really quite beautiful. Now, one aspect that I have to point out immediately is the electrical has been updated in this home. So you know when you go into those 19, early 1900s home and you have maybe two electrical sockets in one room? Look around this room. You have so many. I mean, we have two right here on this wall, two right under this window, two right over here, two more right over there. So I say that to you because it really shows some of the upgrades and pride of ownership that this owner has. Also notice the recessed lighting, which is really beautiful. So you have now at this point, 10 recessed lighting elements in this one room. Also, our client had some wiring for um, multiple uh, telephone lines and even ethernet as well. So things to point out. Now we're crossing back over the entryway and behind us is the open floor concept from the dining area into the remodeled kitchen. What I also love is that our client kept these original paint multi-pane doors. So you do have a way to truly shut off this area and privatize it a little bit more. But for the deep dive, we wanna keep it open so you see. Now on both of the front of the home, both in the dining room and the living room, you have two beautiful custom windows with side windows that do open up. The screens that are for the windows, as many screens as they have, are held in the garage area of the home. Drop chrome, brushed nickel, I'm sorry, brushed chrome chandelier here in the dining room. Notice this is gonna be your third tray ceiling that you have in here. With that picture rail molding, the same base molding, which is the oversized signature of the time period. And look at this consistency of the floors, beautiful. I'm also getting a great feel of the central air conditioning out of the original grates 
they feel so awesome to have that centralized HVAC system. Now here is obviously a structural um, piece that has been a beam to allow the client to open this up and do this beautiful peninsula here into the kitchen. I love this stone countertop and I always love having an opportunity to have an eat-in bar. So really easy for homework or just to gather when you're cooking and hosting people at your house. The other component that I want to show you here is all of this area is finished with the same custom cabinetry, but over here is storage with my favorite pull-out drawers. So really nicely done. Now, as we're going into the, into the kitchen here, couple things to note. The top cabinets have a white wash, and because these ceilings are so high, they did the greatest thing. They put the cabinets as close to the ceiling as possible, finished it with a crown molding. You're gonna see just great cabinet space all the way around. Then we have all these drawers. So, slow closing mechanism, no need to actually try to slam your drawers. Also, remember we have pull out drawers in so many places. Notice they're almost everywhere. Um, even over here as well. Stainless steel appliances. So we're starting with a stainless steel dishwasher. This is a Thermador line and it is a Thermador range and it is a multiple gas burner rain, um, range and oven. So you can see here, look how big that is. Goodness, I really am jealous. I wish I had one. And then four burners with your setter griddle, which also can be a burner as well. And then you have a Venta hood stainless steel, which is vented to the exterior. Now double porcelain sink here. Great water flow. Wanna show you the retractable nature of the faucet. And then of course a vegetable sink as well. And what a great garden view. You've got a wonderful side yard. Remember, the lot itself is over 14,000 square feet. So you're looking at about just over, uh, over half an acre. So great space there as well. Now on the side of this, you've additional great storage for all your spices and um, things. And then remember all of this and of course, Everybody knows I like a good Lazy Susan in the corner. So that's always fun. Your Sub-Zero is almost flush. You can see there's just a couple inches out and look how clean it is. So great, really functioning well. Side cabinets with more pullouts on this side. And notice the same countertop goes all the way as a backsplash all the way around. And you're gonna see that even over here as well. Now coming from this portion of the home, we're crossing over to what we believe was the exterior, um, an exterior porch at some time that was probably enclosed and made into a mud room. Great consistency. You've got a tile here, case molding, the large base molding, and then again, these great windows and a back door right here with ease and accessibility to the backyard. Now, what's over here? This is your accessibility to your California basement. So, what I want you guys to do, because it's a deep dive, is I'm gonna send my amazing mic down there so you guys can see it. Some great space down there. Accessibility, it's maybe a little dark, but it's a traditional California basement with some opportunity for storage, accessibility to the underbelly of the home, where you'll see the piers post, and of course the plumbing. So this trap door, we're gonna close on up. And what I love about this space is you've all of this space here to create more pantry space should you want it and then the multiple shelves on this side. So as you can see, there is that consistency of the pride and ownership. Now right off our center hallway, we have the downstairs bathroom. Perfect for guests and yet it's a three quarter bathroom. So great to utilize as a shower. So many pocket doors in this house that I have to show you. One pocket door right here, another pocket door, which I love that they use the pocket door to close off the bathroom.
Hexagon tile flooring in here, updated vanity with a marble countertop, and a, of course the backsplash here of tile. Additional storage over here as well. Nice dark sink here. And then your glass enclosure with this, I love this blue tile, it's so pretty, that goes all the way up to the ceiling, on the ceiling, recess lighting, shower, shelf, of course, and a handheld. So it's really lovely. And then of course, additional storage on this side. They even have electrical right here, just in case you need to plug in your phone and charge it while you're using the restroom. I mean, they kind of thought of everything. So this is your downstairs main and only bathroom. Now, of course, we could go straight upstairs, but I wanna show you a couple housekeeping items. Here's the thermostat for um, the downstairs HVAC system. And then there's some great storage, which actually goes underneath right in here. It goes to about right about here um, under the stairwell because your return of the HVAC is right there. Good space though to put some suitcases and store some things. Now let's go on upstairs and review the four bedrooms. And then of course, check out the front balcony balcony. It's beautiful. And then we'll be going outside. See you upstairs. Here we are on the second floor. Now the front of the house is south facing. So I personally am south, is facing south at this moment. Couple things to note. I want you to know that the wood goes all the way up the stairwell and is on all the surfaces here on this floor, minus the bathroom. We have two bedrooms on the west side of the home, two bedrooms on the east side of the home. So let's go into these four bedrooms. We're gonna go into this on the west side first. As we're going into this front bedroom, you're gonna see consistency in all the bedrooms. Plus, notice all the natural light. It's incredible in this home. It really is a very bright house. Again, the original one inch oak flooring here, another custom window, which is the same as the additional um, window downstairs with side flanked, flanked by side windows that do open. And then of course, you have multiple panes on this side as well. Really open base molding, crown molding, that's a lower molding, similar to a picture rail molding, recessed lighting, and there's central HVAC up here, so it feels great upstairs. Now you have a closet right on over here, and this is actually a closet space that is called a pass-through closet because it's shared by both bedrooms. You can see the depth of this closet, so I just want, because it's a deep dive, I want you to take a look at this. In this back bedroom, there's an additional closet as well. So there's gonna be two closets in this bedroom over here. This could be primarily utilized by this main bedroom. Again, beautiful views of the greenery, of the front lawn, and of the neighborhood. Now, I wanna show you, since we're just walking by it, here's the upstairs thermostat as well as a carbon monoxide detector for you all to see. Notice even the molding in the hallway. I love those details. This 1913 home wouldn't be finished without a fun, of course, linen cabinet with the multiple drawers down below. Now this back bedroom here, this is gonna be north facing. And as you're coming in here, you can see same base molding, same um, crown molding, which is more of the picture rail molding, recessed lighting, center lighting. And look at these bank of windows. So many great windows that are looking to this oversized backyard. Now as we open up this door, you notice you have another closet in here. So I love the fact that this room has access to two closets. Now, excuse me, right out here as we're walking back by, I do wanna point out this is um, the grates of the whole house fan. So in other words, this is where, if you've ever utilized those, you turn it on, don't have the AC on, turn that on, and what they're known to do is cool off the whole home very quickly. This is also a pull down accessibility to attic space as well. So now let's go on to this side, uh, the east side, front bedroom, and then I'll take you into the bathroom afterwards. So as we're going back to the front of the home, this is bedroom number three. Again, one inch oak, case molding, base molding, another picturesque window here, 
and more windows on here. This is again, one of those other closet systems that has a pass through. Now notice here you have shelves and bars on both sides, pass through goes to what is utilized as the primary bedroom. So let's go show you guys all of these bedrooms up here utilize this main bathroom. So I do want to show you this. This has been remodeled just like the downstairs bathroom remodeled over time, as well as the kitchen. Notice another hexagon tile finish. This is more of a white gray tone. I love this stone here. Really quite beautiful, has the feel of quartz. Um, and then of course your mosaic glass backsplash wonderful fun coloring with this kind of blue here which is really fun fabulous storage chrome handles i mean so much storage in this vanity six drawers multiple aspects here walk-in glass enclosure to your walk-in shower with tile all the way up to the ceiling and your decorative ribbon halfway between between um, and then of course you have your shower head as well as your handheld as well as the shower shelf. The subway tile here is more of kind of a gray cream. It's really quite pretty and it's offset as a subway tile. Now, Coming into our last bedroom, this is a really unique bedroom because not only is it a bedroom, but it also has an attached sitting room, which would be perfect for any sort of home office, a gym or nursery. Now here is one of the closets right here that you can see and notice the floor consistency all the way throughout. This is also that additional closet, which is the pass through closet right over here. And you're seeing recess lighting, the base molding, that case molding, that is a picture rail molding. And then you have this opening in here, which is great. This may have been the original sleeping porch because of all the bank of windows, but I love this extra space in here. Um, our seller used this as an office, which has been great. You can notice all the electrical, the phone lines, ethernet, all that, that was placed in this room. But this has beautiful views of the outside. And then of course you can, look over here and you'll have those peekaboo mountain views as well. So pretty spectacular. Now let's go to the front of the house and get you guys back to the front of the home. I want to make sure you see this front patio. So again, remember I told you the rear of the house faces north, the front of the house faces south. And this front patio has a set of French doors, which take us outside and bring you to this front patio. The front patio here is just perfect. Great place just to read a book, have a cup of coffee, look at all the greenery you're looking at. What I love about East Howard in the historic Highlands neighborhood is it's always flanked with these beautiful palm trees and these gorgeous trees all the way down the street. So it is known to have this look of greenery and um, vegetation all the way down here. The historic Highlands is such a great neighborhood. Notice there are sidewalks on this street as well as light posts. So typically at a certain time of day, we're all seeing people walk their dogs, be out for a jog. It's great interaction here in this community. Now that we've seen this front, had a gander of the front yard and this front balcony, let's go in the backyard and let me show you all the opportunity there. See you in the backyard. Now we're exiting right outside the laundry room and headed into the backyard. A couple things that I want to show you first. So we're going to go this side of the house. As we walk by this side of the house, you're going to see that there are these concrete pads going across around the house. Here you're seeing the updated electrical as well as this house has solar. So you're seeing the existence of the solar here as well as you're going to see it down there as the casing. You also have a condenser and what I love is you have this green grass pocket right over here perfect for whatever your needs are if you're someone who likes grass. Now we're looking at this great space over here. So as you can see, this is a really deep lot. So many opportunities. Our client here loved 
to, to grow vegetables, had a greenhouse back here, and so many options. Underneath this oak tree, of course, a little sitting area, and, but yet you have so much opportunity here to create and imagine what you'd want to be put in place. Drop a pool in maybe, who knows, put a little bit more of a pad for entertaining, maybe a pergola, built-in barbecue and a fire pit. Now this is the original carriage garage. Carriage meaning because of this great um, barn door that I love. Concrete finish in here and our client drywalled this, put in electrical, the whole nine yards, and use this as a workshop slash office. You can even see the updated windows as well. They even did the case molding and base molding and put in base molding in here. So recessed lighting, fan above us, great place in this time to utilize as a home office or workshop. And then you take this step up here that does have a, a door enclosure and you have another finished garage area. Drywalled, concrete flooring, casing, built-in shelves here, accessibility to the side yard, fabulous gym location. I'd probably put a Peloton in here and work out in here. Now you can see how it's a rarity to find such finished space. Now let me show you this element here. The driveway comes all the way down to the end here, almost to the end of the home, a little bit farther. And then you can see that it's a fully enclosed backyard. Additional patio space with, for ease of entertaining. And then of course your utility sink for any of your usage out here. So much opportunity in this. So as you can see, this is one surely not to miss. So meet me in the living room and I'll show you how you can see this home in person. Now that you've had an opportunity to dive into all the details of the home. For more information, go to the property website. Remember, it's 1161howard.com. If you missed the showings this weekend, don't fret. We have additional showings coming up this next week. So go to the Calendy invite and make sure you secure a showing. If you can't find the invitation on Calendy or have your agent has trouble doing so or you're unrepresented, then please reach out to us directly at 626-826-4544. We'll make Make sure you get into this home before offers are due. Again, it's a fabulous time to be involved in real estate. So for more questions about the historic highlands, the neighborhood, the comings and goings, of course, of Pasadena, then go to the Burns website, betterwithburns.com, or you can follow us on all of our social media sites. Just search the Burns team and we'll make sure you have all the data. When you help over 129 families on average per year, you're specialists in the local market. We wanna make sure you're educated. On behalf of Jason, myself, and the rest of the Burns team, thanks for joining our deep dive, and we can't wait to see who's the next owner of this incredible property.